Hi there, it's DJ V, and in this video I'm going to be doing a product review of the Dremel Easy Lock tools. So I use a Mastercraft rotary tool and this thing has worked the same as a Dremel, but I've had little to no success using the generic sanding drums it came with. These drums are quite useless. Internally they have a rubber fixture that you're supposed to loosen with a screwdriver and then tighten when you add the sanding drum over top. Now this doesn't always work, they're really hard to squish in and and I find that some of the rubber still ends up sticking out and when you sand a model, the rubber will completely go all over the model. And I've just had these sanding strips rip off so many times. Every three minutes I have to interchange with a sanding drum. So I bought a whole pack of these on Amazon and I'm just finding that they're useless. So I finally bit the bullet and went out and bought the Easy Lock Dremel brand products. They were really expensive, but I can assure you that they are completely and totally worth the money. There's a reason that things are expensive. There's a reason we pay a little more for certain things. So I went out and bought myself a couple different products, six sanding drums in 120 grit, Easy Lock sanding drum mandrel with a 60 grit sandpaper on it, Easy Lock mandrel with a metal cutting wheel. For this video, I'm testing these products on my The Desperado model. He needs a complete overhaul. So I wanna chop up his neck, I wanna sand down his face, all of his imperfections, take off his tail, sand down his man parts, sand down this model so that I can completely re-sculpt him on top. Once the mandrel is in the Dremel, you literally just push it up and the sanding drum releases and you can pull off the sandpaper bit and then you just pop it back on and pop it back in and it's so simple, so quick, which is amazing because the other ones took forever to put on and take off. With this sanding drum, I managed to sand down this entire The Desperado model. So you'll see me working on him here, sanding down everything. This sanding drum didn't even have any plastic residue when I was done with it. So it completely destroyed the model without destroying itself. So I didn't even try the lesser grit <laughs> sandpaper in this video because all I needed was that high grit sandpaper so definitely for removing large chunks of a model the 60 grit worked really well the 120 would be good for running over the model again so that you can smooth out some of those rough edges that are left behind with the 60 grit for the cutting wheel I used to use just a metal wheel that came with my Mastercraft tool and it was pretty useless I think it was pretty dangerous it didn't feel like it was doing the job so this easy lock sanding disc I bought the metal version you can get a plastic version version as well but they didn't have any so I just got metal because I sometimes will run into metal in my models as well. If you're cutting through wire for sure you need the metal version but they're enforced so that they cut really well. Once the mandrel is in your Dremel pull down the little top piece line up the disc in the allotted slot and then you twist it 90 degrees so that it locks in and you let go of the piece so that it pushes back up into the top of the disc and the disc is securely fed. So now this cutting disc worked about the same as the sanding drum. Amazing. Would highly recommend this. I was able to cut off the entire tail and the entire neck of my V Desperado model. I didn't feel like it was going to break. It went through the plastic really easily. As you can see, not much damage was done to it. Just the top layer paint. So buying a pack of six of these guys is expensive, but totally worth it because they will last way longer than any cheaper brand that you purchase. So in this case, it's definitely worth the money. So I will link all of these Dremel products in the description below, but I highly recommend if you're not already using these, go out and use these. As for the rotary tool, you don't necessarily need Dremel brand rotary tool. I don't think there's any difference in my Mastercraft tool versus the Dremel brand tool, but there's definitely a difference in the heads and attachments that come with it. So I would recommend going out and buying yourself one of these. Thank you so much for watching and happy customizing. Please subscribe for weekly Wednesday uploads. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at DJB Studios. Check out my website and sign up to my newsletter to be the first to know about commissions, tutorials, and sales pieces. All of the tools used in this video are in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to message me.